From downtown St. Paul, Minnesota, the XL Energy Center, the final night of the high school volleyball season in the Class 4A Championship on CCX, the number two seed, the new Prairie Trojans taking on the number one seed and three-time defending state champion, the Wysetta Trojans. Hello and welcome to XL. John Jacobson along with Andy Gugersberg. And Andy, always fun to be here. And it seems like we've had a great run of CCX teams here since 2018. We've had a team in the championship each year, Champlain Park in 2018, and the last four seasons, White Zeta 2020, no tournament because of the pandemic. Yeah, it's well represented area. You know, back in about 2016, when I was telling people that I worked for CCX, they always talked about, oh, they're a really good area in that, like, you have a cute little brother thing but ever since that 2017 team I believe when they went to the final I think it was Champlain Park in the final or near it there yeah they lost to Egan in that's 2017. right that's yep. right it's been just dominance from the Northwest Metro we're very happy for our viewing areas success and this YZ a team as close to a lock as I've ever called New Prague comes in their first year in four. They've been in, in 3A in the past. They came in as the number two seed, won their first uh, two matches. They won 22 of their last 23. They're playing they're as good as they're going to play all season, right? Yeah, absolutely. This team is firing on all cylinders. I had a pick that they would make the section semifinal their first year in 4A. Uh, they rolled through their semifinal, uh, and then in the section final, put a whooping on Lakeville North, one of the top three teams in the state all year long and it they looked like a JV squad compared to what New Prague was doing to them. So while 22 out of 23 sounds good, on the other side of the net, White well, Zeta's 33 and 0 and it hasn't lost a set since late September. Yeah, they're, it, it, to say that this team is on a run right now is an embarrassment to the word run. They are playing such good volleyball. Uh, in September, they looked like they could go win a state title at the level they were playing, and they've only gotten better since then. Cleaner, faster, stronger. The connection, I didn't think Stella Swenson could set better than she did in September, and she's ready. I watched the Gophers last night. I love Mel Shaftmaster, but Stella might be ready now. Yeah. Let's look at the, the semifinals, how the teams got to tonight, and Andy, and the, for New Prague, a win over Stillwater, just lost in the third place game before this match, and getting to this championship match for the second time in school history as they've been in the final of the tournament. 0-1 was the other year. And Waiseta in their match, taking on Anoka after they had defeated Edina in the quarterfinals, and they made a good Anoka team look Pretty ordinary. Not bad, but ordinary, yeah, right? You're, you're absolutely right. And I think in talking with some people from the New Prague area, I tried to explain to them what YZ is able to do to people. And what they did to Anoka on Thursday is exactly that. Anoka, a great team, beat Egan, a team that had beaten some of the top teams in the state multiple times. And uh, Anoka didn't look good in that final, as we see. Sweeps to get here. Anoka did win the third place match, though, against Stillwater, and the match just concluded here at court two. So there's a look at the bracket in 4A. White Zeta with a couple of sweeps. New Prague took four against uh, Minnetonka before the sweep over Stillwater on uh, Thursday to get to today. Each team with Friday off. All right, let's roll into our key players, starting with New Prague. Avery Klein, a player that you know, Andy, you've coached, and a really good player headed to Mankato next year. Has 41 kills in the two tournament matches this year. Yeah, she is playing at a level. She's been a, she's a kid that kind of, when she started as a freshman, they had her on the left side because they needed her to take all the swings. They now have setters that can get her the ball on the right side, and that is where she's most comfortable as a left-handed right side. They set her in the front row. They set her at a bunch of different spots across the back row. She does such a nice job attacking a variety of ways. And she was a player that Scott Jackson told us we have to identify where she's going to be and then figure out how to defend her. And on the white set side, Andy already talked about her, but uh, the player of the year in Minnesota, Stella Swinson, winning every possible award this year, as she should. Absolutely. You know, I've, I've talked with coaches that have a team. You, you talk about maybe the setter isn't that important because there's a lot of people that could set this YZ a team to a state title, but she puts her hitters in a position where they're just giggling as they're hitting the ball. The ball is on a tee almost every time she sets it, and she is such a competitor. They had an interview with her. I can't remember if it was in the Trib or where it was, but she talked about, like, all she wants to do is help her team win, and every time I've seen her on the court in the last four years, that's all I've noticed. It'll be a fun one, and we'll get it to you in just a moment here on CCX. The Battle of the Trojans, New Prague and Wyzetta. Championship match in 4A on your way next.
It all comes down to this new Prague and Wyzetta for the 4A championship for 2023. Welcome back to XL. John Jacobson and Andy Gugasberg. And that's roll in. We saw some of the past success these Wyzetta teams have had starting with 2019, 2021, and 2022. Yeah, they've done such a good job. Uh, it's interesting. I think we've talked about it in one of the section matches. Nobody has ever won a 4A title except Wyzetta. We expanded it to four classes in 21. They won it in 21, they won it in 22. They're the odds on favor to win it again this coming year. We'll see if they're able to hold on and finish this undefeated dream season. Over the last five seasons coming into play tonight, Wyzetta 141 wins, just seven losses. Se seven losses. Right. Seven losses. In five seasons. They were 13-0 in 2020. Probably would have won state again that year, right, Andy? Yeah, if, absolutely. If there had been a state tournament. I, I would have loved to see them play Eastridge that year. That was the only team that I thought could even compete with them, but they were going to take care of it as we look at the starters here. For the new Prague Trojans, Emerson Dillon, Avery Churning, Katie Bolvinger, Avery Klein, Marn Anderson, Annalise Wilson is the setter, and Kira Brundage, the libero. And for Wyzetta, Olivia Swenson, Avery Jesuits, Riley Kurth, Katie Kelsenberg, Ava Swen Swenson, Stella Swenson, and Bianca Nister is the libero for Wyzetta. Talent everywhere for that team. Like, there's not, a, there's not a spot where they don't have a kid who was either All-State or is comparable with kids that were All-State. In the middle, I don't know that I have, that there's three better middles in the entire state than those two. They weren't All-State because they just, you can only get so many All-State kids on one team. And at least Wilson serves for New Prague, and we are underway with the 4A championship. Avery Jesuit blocked on the first attack, and in New Prague with the first point. Avery Klein, the right side that we talked about in the pregame, gets the block and the kill. And Scott talked about finding Klein early. I don't think that's what he had in mind. Overpass, punched across, but Nister picks it up. From the middle, off hands, and the kill for Katie Kelsenberg was at a really good state tournament and full season in general. Absolutely, the junior middle blocker does some really dynamic things. She's able to hit anywhere along the net and her blocking presence felt quite often as well. Coley Lackis in and serves here for Wyzetta, tied at one in the first set. Set by Wilson, cross but too wide on the little hit by Klein. And it's 2 1 Wyzetta. Black is a really good server. Andy puts this one in play. Set across, and again going wide. Too strong from Klein. Missed it again. Similar set from Wilson, but can't find the court. The block affects the angle at which you play volleyball, and it's definitely inside Klein's head right now. 3-1 this time into the net for Lacus. And it's back over to New Prague. Strong student support on both sides. New Prague, their first section final or state final in 22 years. Runners up in 2001. Back set. And point for New Prague. Take a look at this. Kyla Klein gets in front of it. I don't think that got across. Yeah, no, it's but right into the tape. Klein lined her up really well, though. Avery's younger sister. Emerson Dillon serving for New Prague. Outside will scramble here and put over by Wyzetta. Wilson will set it across. The younger Klein, Kyla getting blocked on that one. They go back to her again, try to go in line, but missed. Point inside out Wyzetta. Kyla, the sophomore sister of the senior Avery Klein. And now Avery Jesuit serves for the first time tonight for the Trojans. Wilson back set. Avery Klein picked up by Jesuit. Stella Swenson. Olivia Swenson cuts it across. She loves that shot. Very effective at it. Yeah, it's when you hit at the angle she hits at, she's so high, she can hit this sharp cross shot. A lot of outsides aren't up high enough to hit it that sharp. They'll hit it into the tape. Back set, pushed across by Avery Klein. 
Tell Swenson quick set to Kelsenberger gets it down. Brundage, three. Sorry, Brundage trying to figure out what angle Kelsenberg's going to hit at, and the libero just kind of left out in no man's land. Back row and off the hands of Kyla Klein, and it goes an ace for Jesuits. Take a look at the ace here again. Good serve, catches Klein leaning into the six, pushes it down the line. Good location. 51st ace of the season for Jesuits, second on the team to Stella Swenson. Lackas picks up that ball in the back row. They go back to Olivia Swenson. Hammers home another one. And all of a sudden it's 8-3, Wyzetta. Yeah, the Wyzetta Trojans really doing a nice job running offense there. Stella Swenson holding the block. So this seam is wide open. Jesuits, good serve. Kyla Klein picks it up. They go back to Klein. Cross Jesuits. Somehow gets into the front row to Stella Swenson and put away by Olivia. And that's a ball that most teams aren't going to be able to react to that pass and get into their offense quickly like that. And Wyzetta does. It's uh, one of my first years coaching. My uh, club director told me the difference between a two pass and a three pass is the setter. And Stella Swenson turns a lot of Average passes into good passes as we see another ace from Avery Jesuits. Her second and a timeout for New Prague. It's 10-3, Wyzetta. 10-3, real quick. Taking a look at this last serve again. I think Kyle is just hoping that ball goes out. Another great serve right on the sideline. Look at the coaches, Greg Syak, because in a third season as head coach here, was an assistant here, had a lot of success at Southwest Christian, won a state title for them 10 years ago in Class A. Really good coach. I talked with Scott Jackson. He said, we've co both been coaching a long time, but haven't coached against each other. They figured out since 2009 was the last time they played against wow. each other as coaches. And Scott Jackson went into the Coaches Hall of Fame this week and his 25th year at Wyzetta and rolling toward a fourth straight state championship here tonight. I think this is this is actually going to be a relief. Like as exciting as winning a state title is, winning this one will be a relief. He's had so much pressure on him all year with this team and he's he's excited for them, but you just look at him and he's just he just it seems way too stressful for a team that's this good. I, I, I love the guy, I love what he's about. I'd love to see him cap this off. Jesuits another good serve, looking for a third ace. And this time, Klein able to put it across, Avery Klein. Back set, Kelsenberg going down the hill with that swing. Off the hands of Dylan and out. Do they have a switch? Is there something they can do servicey-wise? They do, they pull two. Two person serve receive here. We'll see how they handle it. Jesuits and too strong this time. And so New Prague gets out of that, gets the side out. Now 11 to 4. But you're going to keep rifling them at the other team, right? Until they Absolutely. <laughs> Just a little too strong on that one. Brundage to serve for New Prague. Stella Swenson back, Kelsenberg, and that'll drop. Kelsenberg, I mean, Stella Swenson's too smart to not recognize the height advantage Kelsenberg has on Klein. Running that slide over the top of her is going to work quite well. Frontage to Wilson. They go back to Avery Klein. He gets blocked, but falls on the white other side of the net and a point for New Prague. Second kill for the senior, Avery Klein. It's 12-5. Yeah, Avery Klein won't get cheated. You won't see her tip unless she thinks it'll score. Good serve. Drops in for an ace for Avery Klein. Back-to-back -back kills for her, it's 12-6. Yeah, and talking with some people that were familiar with our opponents, they said what Wyzetta has at the net, New Prague has at the service line. Their service game is very strong. Overpass here, put across by Kyla Klein. Wyzetta recovers, and then a block at the net on the attack from Kurth. 
Brundage to the front row. Wilson set to the middle and creeps over on the attack from Dillon. Olivia, oh, what a great pickup on the ball hit by Olivia Swenson. Long rally here. Stella Swenson back to Olivia. Tipped it this time. Picked up by Avery Klein. Back across. Kyla Klein for the point. That was fun. That's a big point for the New Prague Trojans. They needed that one. Long rally, couple big digs on a couple big hits, including that one. Brundage to the floor to keep it alive, and then Klein sneaks it inside the left arm of Kurth for the point. 12-7. And off of Cesowitz for another ace. And four in a row here for New Prague. It's 12-8. To quote Rocky IV, they're human after all. Stella Swenson cross to Olivia and hits it into the tape. A couple of uncharacteristic errors here for Wyzetta has pulled the New Prague Trojans within three. We're good, let's go. He's absolutely right. Scott Jackson imploring his team to just relax. Overpass, chipped it back across by Stella Swenson. Kyla Klein off hands and a point. 12 10. And Craig with six straight. Avery Klein, another good serve. Stella Swenson gets her team into the offense. Olivia Swenson. And there is the sign out and point for Wyzetta. When a, when a player like Klein goes to the back row, you tend to, as, an, as a defense, relax and, and take a deep breath. But that six-point run really, really needed to be stopped. Great swing to score out of serve receive. Wilson will put it across to Kyla Klein. Great pickup by Stella Swenson in the back row. Olivia Swenson sails this one long. Thirteen eleven. Ball put into play by Marin Anderson. Here's Olivia Swenson again. Too much. Swenson came in on a two ball there. Get eyes on her. See if she stays behind and goes over the small block of Dylan on a on a nine set here. There she goes behind. Stella Swenson will <laughs> dump it for a point. Great at that play, and her team now up 14-12. It's so good that she does it when she's in the back row. Just so deceptive. Olivia Swenson back to serve. Wilson will dump it, but Stella Swenson ready for it. Nister across to Jesuits. Cut across, Olivia Swenson, Stella Swenson, nice punch up in the air, and then put back across by New Prague. Katie Bollinger with the kill, the junior middle. Prague down 12 to 4 at one point. They're down just one now at 14 13. Audrey Connolly in to serve. That's off of Olivia Swenson. Stella getting it back in play, and then across by Olivia. Ball to the middle, tap over there by turning. Here's Jesuits. Got it in. Nope, or missed. Nope, missed. We are tied at 14. Take a look at this swing here. She's looking for hands. Oh, yeah, definitely out. Missed wide. So Swenson across. Eva Swenson kept alive. No. Nope. It was down and lift called on the new Prague. That ball Eddie. came off the off the net and stuck in her arm a little bit here. Take a look at this swing. Eva Swenson, really good play there. But then yeah, as it comes back, it and Eva helping the <laughs> R1 out there with the lift call. Trojans back up by one. Why is that a Trojans? As Nister serves. Oh, and that one caught Avery Klein a little bit. Not prepared or what, but she was a little late to react. Absolutely. A little, little hiccup in the reaction yeah. time. Crossed herself over. Oh. 
Mister serves back throw again to Avery Klein. Wilson cross. Avery Klein will tack from the middle. Point for New Prague. Yeah, back row swing here. Block needs to delay. You see Jesuits over and on the way down by the time she makes contact with that ball. Eva Swenson gets set from her older sister Stella. Gets another kill. A couple of kills for her. She'll rotate out. Lack is in. Yeah, in rhythm. Eva Swenson, really good downhill swing here. Dylan late on the block move as well. That's a whole lot of court for Eva to hit. 17 15 overpass. Jesuits picked up back row by Anderson. Wilson across. Avery Klein misses. Missed in about the same spot three times, two times early in the set and there. Uh, not finishing her swing. You can tell when a, when a hitter gets tight and their shoulder gets tight, they can't finish that deep corner shot. That's three balls, like you said, in almost the exact same spot. Now 18-15, Wysetta. Wilson will go back to Avery Klein. will tip it this time. Great job by Lackis to get to that ball. And then down finds the back corner for a point. I said his defense pulled up and you pray able to put it away. Emerson Dillon a, a defensive player for her club teams but loves the ability to attack here during the high school season undersized has to start banging off blocks and hitting shots like that. Dillon with a good serve. So this went into Avery Jesuits picked up by Dillon back row back to Kyla Klein and a lot of contact in the net for her point Wysetta. I'll take a look at it. The follow through had to be what we saw in the net there. Nineteen thirteen, Jesuits served a long string of points earlier in the set. Good block here, Kelsenberg with the block and kill. Timeout, New Prague. Take a look at this press. Just four hands significantly on New Prague's side of the net. That's a great block by the Wise at Trojans, Kelsenberg and Swenson closing down there. Impressive. 20 to 16, Wyzetta up. It was close. It was it was a big gap, and then New Prague caught him, and now Wyzetta extending things again. Greg Sag taking a look. And as we see, these teams aren't that far apart, and then sometimes they are. <laughs> 46 miles if you make this jump from school to school and why is is used to being here in New Prague in their second tournament in the last three years as well. So a uh, really good volleyball program and Greg Sack a, a terrific coach. Right? Absolutely. He's got good, good talent to work with but he's right. a good coach. Right. He, he's he's done more with this with the with the talent he has than a lot of people expected. He's he's one of those guys that's able to squeeze a lot out of it gets his kids to buy into what he's trying to do. I mean. Who puts a who puts a lefty in six rotations and has her pass in five of the six rotations? But he trusts her, she trusts him, and it's worked out really well for them this year. Wyzetta at 20 as we come out of this timeout. Avery Klein back row handled by Jesuits. Stella Swenson to Olivia Swenson gets blocked, but it's out. Trojans got the the Craig Trojans got the block up, but didn't have their hands turned inward, and it's a side out now. Four points needed for Wyzetta. Brundage handles the serve from the middle. Dillon off the hand of Lackus. Emerson Dillon has had a good tournament with the kill. Take a look at this one. This is a rhythm set. She's on the bick, which is a back row quick, and it is way too fast for Lackus to get there. Kelsenberg doesn't get up on the block. And uh, that's going to lead to a lot of opportunities for the junior outside. At 14 kills in the quarterfinal match against Minnetonka. Olivia Swenson, too long. And New Prague within three again at 21 18. Here, Brundage, just a sophomore, put this one in play. Olivia Swenson, nice play by Brunage. Stella Swenson gets across, but came into the net. And so it's a sign out and a point for New Prague. That's a big point here. You see Stella 
on the left corner and then runs all the way back across and goes slide footwork, but in the net. Della Swenson across, Olivia, all picked up in the middle. Pounded by Dillon, but not too much on that ball. Sign out, Wyzetta. You see the look, and uh, Dillon in rhythm there to hit something quicker than she got. We ask that you please direct your attention to the West. Kelsenberg to serve. Brunage to the front row. Kyla Klein too much. Coaches and specifically the participants in the first Minnesota State High School League sanctioned. 23-19. Front row, Wilson to dump it over. Mackus is ready for that ball. There's Olivia Swenson off hands, picked up though by Wilson. And over by Kyla Klein. Mackus front row, Stella Swenson back. Cross by Kerf, out off the block of New Prague, and now it's set point. Sayek thought that went off the foot before it hit the ground. 24-19. Front row, Wilson set all the way across. Kyla Klein keeps New Prague alive. Good attack from the sophomore. It's 24 20. Take a look at this one again. In the scene, Perth not able to close. Avery Klein serve. There's Olivia Swenson trying to close it. Overpass, Olivia Swenson. Kept alive by Dillon. And Avery Klein too strong from the back row, and there's set point. And the Wyzetta Trojans win it 25-20. Great start for Wyzetta. Nupre came back, made it close, and then Wyzetta stretched out again. Nupre with another push towards the end, but not enough to come back. 25-20, Wyzetta takes set one and their 47th set in a row. We'll take our first break. We'll come back with set two. Wyzetta, one third of the way to a state title. More from XL after this. Virginia. Trojans defeat the New Prague Trojans 25 20 in first set. John Jacobson with Andy Gugersberg ready for set two here. Andy and the uh, was that a parents section, the moms and the, and the dads in the NASCAR like uniforms tonight. I like that. Is, it. That is Talladega Knights right there. That is Shake and Bake from the uh, Will Ferrell movie. It's classic. Number five, so why is that a not certainly not as clean as we've seen them play in, in a lot of matches on the first set? But in the end, they still win it by five. Yeah, and Number that just eight, goes to show you Julia how Shaheed. dominant this team has been this year. They play Number volleyball nine, at a level that Grace they wouldn't be happy Nelson. with. Speaking of Scott Jackson, Number that 14, look on his face, man. And uh, he knows they've got better volleyball in them. And it's not about the win or the loss. They just want to play their best volleyball for their last match of the season. These seniors have put a legacy together, and you'd love to see them play clean to finish. Ready for set two. Bianca Nestor will get us underway for the White Zeta Trojans. Wilson set to the middle. Dylan. And a point for New Prague to start set two. Fearless swing there from Dillon into a big block. And she'll go back and serve. You can hear the public address announcer in the background if you're watching it along when you're watching at home. And 
the 3A championship match is just starting at full two hours late from when it was supposed to start at 6.30. It's 8.30 right now on Saturday night, and they're just getting started with that or just introducing the teams. After all that's done, Marshall's still got to drive right. home. Yeah, it's a long drive back to southwestern Minnesota. Pick up in the back row by Olivia Swenson. Here's Jesuits off some hands. The pick up by New Prague. Avery Klein gets blocked. And the point for Wysetta. Jesuits a good credit for the kill. Reserves for the Marshall Tigers, number three. Take a look at the end of this point again. Jesuits with a great read. She releases early on Klein and able to get most of it. Kelsenberg will get credited for a half block there as well. Back set, Avery Klein, and that's off of Olivia Swenson and out. That Side out, Dupre. That tempo Number on the run is a really hard set. We'll take a look at it again here. She's running towards the left pin and goes in tempo. The only shot Klein has is into the cross court, but Jesuit's not able to make the last second adjustment. Brundage serving. Picked up by Nister, overpass. Attack from the middle by Dillon. Kelsenberg Number from Stella Swenson. Back row Wilson's got to chase that ball down over by Dillon. Lackus to Stella Swenson to Avery Jesuits and down. They're blocked for Klein and Bollinger. Yeah, really nice block there. And Klein with a little bit of a little bit of look after the point as well letting Jesuits know that this is going to be a fun one for the rest of the match. 3-2, New Prague. Kel Swenson to Kelsenberg. And Wysetta gets the block there on Bollinger with tied to three. Number eight, middle blocker, five foot ten, senior, Kenzie Olsen. And number 13, center, five foot nine, sophomore, Brooke Gillingham. Jesuits, good Libero serve. Tigers, Avery Klein, Mister Stubbard Swenson, Kelsenberg gets blocked. White Center recovers, back across an attempt West. from Olivia Swenson. Assistant Here's Brundage, has to be over and is. Over blast, a play at the net. Brundage keeps it alive, no. Net violation. Our officials for this Not game. violation on Bollinger. He's going to back up 4 3. And line judges are Ted Carolla and Mike Wood. Cross, Nister picked that up. Delano Tigers. Olivia Swenson to the back row. Brundage Let's to Wilson. Cross by Kyla Klein. She gets the point. The deep corners are the area to attack on this Wyzetta Trojan team. They play with six rotation outsides, and they're long, but they get tired as the match goes on. If New Prague's going to attack and score, it's got to be deep into the corners. Kelsenberg, good pick up by New Prague. Oh, and then Bollinger and Brundage run into each other, and that causes the ball to drop. He's going to back up by one as we trade points here. Kelsenberg, back row, handled by Bollinger, or by Dillon, rather. Jesuits, and Olivia Swenson, back row, Brundage. Wilson back, set, a little late reaction, but the Craig does get to it. Then Stella Swenson off of Brundage and out for the kill. At a certain point, Stella just, uh, it's its almost like she decides she's done playing and she's going to end things. She goes at a high level and becomes just this side of unstoppable. It's 6-4. Wyzetta, going to go up two sets, good block. Oh, it's out. Stella Swenson thought she got the block into a player. We'll take another look here. Block. Ooh, that might have been in. In and or off the foot of Brundage there. Yeah, it looks like it. But goes to New Prague. What we think, Andy. Not that important. No. Olivia Swenson gets blocked. Look at that block. Ooh. 
That one to the ground in a hurry from Bollinger. Tied up at six. Terrific block. Bollinger, the junior. And now the serve by Anderson. And Wysetta gets that back. Continue to go one on one with points for the most part. 7 6 Wysetta. Wilson, cross Dillon, back row Jesuits. Here's Nister to Olivia Swenson to the back row. Too long. Side out point, New Prague. Section one champs tied up with Wyzetta here. Connolly in. And puts it in play. Here's Lackis attacking, and she'll get the kill. Does he get a lot of swings, Andy, but gets one there and puts it away. Yeah, plays plays a little bit of front row, and it and it varies when he subs her in. Sometimes it's right when, sometimes he even comes in right away, and sometimes Lackis plays for a rotation or two across the front. I think it all has to do with matchups. Eva Swenson now back in for Lackis. Ball gets set to Dylan. Missed wide. Dylan looking for Eva Swenson's hands, cannot find them. She's in a presence at the net, Swenson is. Liv Swenson with the server, team up two. Wilson set to the middle, Avery Klein, good pickup by Nister. Stahl Swenson to Olivia, gets blocked in the middle. It is Avery turning. A 6 2 senior middle. One on one and turning gets her hands and a little bit of her wrist across the net, and that's all she needs. The break back within one with Wilson serves, gets it right back. We're at 10 8. to the middle, Dillon gets blocked. Jesuits will easy pickings there and taps it down for a point. Good discipline there from the senior outside hitter. Didn't get too anxious. Right, right. waited, yeah. waited, waited. Once it got in the plane, she took care of it. Is that the biggest lead in this set at 11-8? Avery Klein off hands, but picked up by Mister. Well, Swenson to Kelsenberg, and pick up, and too long of a run there for Anderson who tried to chase it down. And we're gonna get a timeout here for New Prague at 12-8. Yeah, much needed timeout there. Wyzetta and New Prague exchanging points for quite a while there, but now a run for Wyzetta and Scott Jackson squad finding that gear that only they can play at. <laughs> Interesting to see these two teams competing. Like you said, they haven't played each other. Greg hasn't played against Scott in 15 years as we look at what New Prague has done in a two-year turnaround. Not only did they go from 3A to 4A, they went from 15 and 14 to 27 and 5. And the, it's not that they had freshmen just showing up that are doing stuff. It's their upperclassmen finding a new gear and finding a new level. Maybe it has something to do with buy-in. You know, Greg, a first-year head coach last year. This is his third year in the program. So a first-year head coach last year probably had to get some things figured out. Now he's got him right where he wants him, ready to go, believing in what he's about. And uh, at 27-5 and five in Class 4A and came out of, you know, there's a lot of conversation we have up in our local area about spreading out the state tournament because Champlin Park and Wyzette are in the same section. Well, in the New Prague section, there were three ranked teams all season long. Battles throughout the year. Wilson able to get that ball over on third contact. And then Kelsenberg. 
Oh, put a hole in the floor in the sport court. Yeah, that's that's a good swing. Watch this. Here comes here's Eva thought she had that ball, and Olivia's like, no, I, I have that ball. And then Stella to Kelsenberg and through the floor. Mister too long. And a much needed side out for New Prague. 13-9, the New Prague Trojans trailing by four here in set two. Overpass. Craig oh, went into the tape. Yeah. Point for Wyzetta. Kyle Klein unable to elevate that attack, and it's Wyzetta by five again. Lackis back in for Eva Swenson. Back set. Ball hit across and the kill for Avery Klein. Klein coming alive here. Back set over Kelsenberg and into the corner. I knew Prague needing a run here in the second set. Trying to catch Wyzetta, trailing by four. Brundage serving. Mister Oboe and taking a care of at the net by Bollinger on the overpass. It might be the first time I've seen Stella lose that joust this year. She's so good at that. Gets turned around late as soon as they hit the floor. Hand to the chest knowing that she's a better blocker than that. Stella Swenson will set up to Kelsenberg. Handled back row by Wilson. Brundage over to Avery Klein. Olivia Swenson. Stella Kelsenberg tips it this time. Nister. Stella Swenson outside. Jesuits will swing downhill and a good pickup in the back row by Dillon. Front row, Stella Swenson wins that battle at the net, but New Prague able to keep it alive. Stella Swenson set it for Kelsenberg into the tape. Point New Prague. Biggest point of the match for New Prague. They really worked hard on that one. Great defensive effort. Stella Swenson tried to throw one down. Klein got her arm in the way and a point for New Prague to finish it. Stella Swenson will set it up to Kelsenberg off the antenna. And New Prague. Oh, was it not off the antenna or was it off New Prague? It was off New Prague's block and, and then, then off, the, off antenna. the antenna. Okay. Kelsenberg so, abusing the block. 15 12, Wyzetta. Scramble here, but put across by Kyla Klein. Stella Swenson across for Olivia. Hammers at home. 16 12, Wyzetta. It's a big time swing on the three set. Avery Klein lost Olivia here. Dives in late. And yeah, that was over before it started. Jesuits back row handled by Brundage. Swing by Avery Klein, picked up by. Lackis, Olivia Swenson kept alive by Avery Klein. They'll go back to her and gets blocked by Kelsenberg. Take a look at this finish. Phone booth block from Kelsenberg and Swenson, and we'll get another timeout. We're going to talk about Wyzetta and how good they've been, Andy. We mentioned the numbers, and they've lost just five sets in the last four seasons of postseason play. That's incredible. They've had either one of the Jesuit sisters, Sophie in 2019, or Avery, part of these championship teams. They've swept in the quarterfinals and semifinals each of the four seasons, and looking for a sweep here tonight to close out a perfect postseason run as far as sets lost, it would be, which would be zero. Right. It, it's it's rare that you find a team that's putting together this kind of dominance. People that have been around the game for a long time talk about what Penn State did, what Concordia St. Paul did in Division II, winning six straight. But this is just almost unheard of, the way that they're doing it, not dropping matches, not dropping sets. And... Uh, it's business right now. It, they're having fun, they're smiling, but the look on Avery Jesuit's face tells a lot right now. We've got work to do, we've got finish to do. 
Five point White Zeta lead. Wilson back set. Avery Klein trying to go down the line and missed. That would have been a big point for New Prague. Scott yeah. Jackson pointing at Avery Jesuits. That's your ball if it's in. Eighteen twelve. It's out of by six now, their biggest lead in this set. Hammered across and down. A great swing from Kyla Klein for the kill. Kyla finding a seam in the block. A lot of attention paid to her sister in that rotation. And Avery will serve here, but into the net. Crucial error, and it gives the serve back to Wyzetta. And back ahead by six go the Wyzetta Trojans. 19-13, Scott Jackson, I think he gets another couple points here. He may go to his bench. He likes to get them some opportunities. Kelsenberg serving, back row up on Avery Klein. She'll get a swing ahead here, right in between Kelsenberg and Jesuits for the point. Eight kills for Kelsenberg already tonight and just short of two sets of work. Back it goes to Marin Anderson. Quick ball and Griff getting blocked and it drops. Bollinger's played really well here, Andy, in the middle. Yeah, it's very disciplined. Eyes right where they need to be. Doesn't get fooled on what might get set. Waits and sees something actually get set before she makes a move. Lackus, Stella Swenson, and Chris can't run that down. Stella Swenson so deceptive, sometimes she even fools her own hitters. <laughs> Kirk right. was going to cover Olivia there instead of ready to hit the ball. 1916. Olivia Swenson here, too much. So much like set one, why is that a sort of in control and then all of a sudden oh, here comes New Prague and they're back with him too. Jesuits, Stella Swenson, she'll set Olivia again. Attacked by Dylan, picked up by Lackis, back set here to Kurth. Picked up by Anderson. Swing by Avery Klein, Jesuits with a pickup, Stella Swenson to Olivia again. Finds the spot. And Wyzetta's at 20. Student section getting into it here. Olivia Swenson calmly collecting herself after another kill. Senior outside going to join her sister. As we take a look at Stella's stat line, 18 assists, four kills, two digs and a block. And an ace for Stella Swenson. We talked about her leading the team. That's her 63rd ace of the season. Craig out of timeouts. It's 21 17. Wyzetta. Brundage picks this one up. Ball crossed by Wilson to Dillon. Stella Swenson went up for that one. Olivia Swenson off Brundage to the net across. Good swing, but Wyzetta able to handle it. Over by Olivia Swenson. Wilson trying to tap it. Sent back by Olivia Swenson. Across. Nister with a nice defensive pickup. They go to Kurth, who missed. So, thought maybe it was tipped, or it was not. And a sign out of the point for New Prague. Take a look at this swing again. Looking for hands, but their block was up too late. Connolly back in and serving here. And it's Kurth. That's long. That time she got the block. Point Trojans, good use there by Kurth. 22 18, Wyzetta after the Kurth kill. Oh, given back by Olivia Swenson on the miss serve. McCraig within three. Oh, 
Wilson. Handled by Jesuits. Stella Swenson will set up Jesuits and she misses. Dupreig now at 20, trailing by two. Key serves here for New Prague as Wilson puts it in playoff. Chesowitz for an ace. Right side out, their first time out in the tournament. Coming here in set two, with their team leading now just by one. 21 22, New Prague getting close to catching up again. Scott Jackson going to talk to his team. We talked a little bit. We'll watch the end of this point here. Jesuits gets backed up and it goes down as an ace. We, we, we joked on Wednesday about Scott Jackson wearing a life alert bracelet and uh, we can see it there. The colors are a little different. Talk to Scott directly. This is just one of the million reasons why he's one of the nicest guys in the world. One of his managers, a JV player, has a hearing problem. So she wears a device so when Scott talks, she can hear. In the noise of this arena, it's hard to hear a lot of what's being said. But Scott does that so that his managers know what he's trying to get done, making sure everyone feels included in every part of this championship run for the Wyzetta Trojans. All right, what's the message there? To get clean up things on defense, right? Just relax and remember how to do what we know how to do. No whistle. Everybody gets excited. Jumped a little bit too soon on the serve by Wilson. We'll do it again. Off of Mister, another ace. We are tied at 22. This is this is the one rotation where the dominant attack of Wyzetta isn't really apparent who they're going to set here. Stella Swenson goes to Kurth. Big, big point there for Riley Kurth. I like the decision there to go to Kurth on a perfect pass. She's got one blocker in front of her and swings through the floor to get Wyzetta the lead. 23-22 with Nister serving for Wyzetta. They'll set it to Avery Klein, taps it, but Stella Swenson comes up, runs that down. Jesuits backs up on the ball. Handled in the back row. Wilson back set over by Avery Klein. Stella Swenson back to Eva Swenson. Off a couple of hands. The break scrambles. Gets it across. Stella Swenson over. And Kelsenberg's ball is dug up. That's a cross. Handled by Jesuits. Stella Swenson to Kelsenberg. Into the net. And the point for New Prague. That was a terrific rally. And the New Prague Trojans have tied it up. 23-23, 46 sets in a row at a risk here. Great effort, no quit from oh, well, the Craig Trojans, and then they follow up that with a miss serve. Set point now for Wyzetta at 24-23. Lackis will serve. She dial it up here, did she go for it? Back row handled by Kyla Klein. Here's Avery Klein swing. Wyzetta keeps it alive and over by Stella Swenson. Back set, Avery Klein off hands. Wyzetta, good pickup by Olivia Swenson. Pushed across by Jesuits. Wilson sets to the middle. Dylan's ball picked up by Lacka. Stella Swenson trying to end it. And is it. What a terrific play by Wyzetta. Olivia Swenson with the play in the back row. Stella Swenson puts it away. Yeah, great finish there. A little bit of chaos, but at the end of the day, winners win games, and that's exactly what the Swensons and Wyzetta do here to take the 2-0 lead in the state championship match. We'll take time out, come back. Set three on the way from XL. Wyzetta up 2-0. On New Prague, more volleyball on CCX after this.
CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. plays in the first two sets. They've been close, but Wyzetta has won both. 45 straight set wins for Wyzetta going back to September 26th, and now just one set away from a state 4A championship here in 2023. Everybody all smiles on the Wyzetta side. They're pretty calm and relaxed after that tight set. They knew they came out on top. They know what they have to do in order to win this set and win a fourth straight state title. Annalise Wilson trying to start the comeback for New Prague here in set three. Call Swenson to Eva Swenson. Wilson across to Dillon. Good pick up by Nister. Ball to the middle. Kelsenberg puts it across. Dillon will push it back row and down. First point for New Prague as it's been in all three sets. Off of Jesuits, that's going to be an ace. And Prague with the first two points of set three. Jesuits up to Stella Swenson, across to Eva Swenson. Great block by Dylan. New Prague. If they were down after losing that second set, they don't show it coming out in set three, up 3-0 here. Dylan at 5-8, Eva Swenson at 6-3. Great block. Kelsenberg gets Wyzetta on the board. <laughs> Middles played a big part in this. Success for Wyzetta here in the state tournament and in the section tournament. That will be over just long. We pray got it go. It's kind of jacking like that was in. He thought it got <laughs> touched. We'll take a look. This will be the right angle to see it. Ooh, that looked in from this angle. I don't think anybody touched it. And it goes to New Prague. It's 4 1. Stella Swenson back across and another kill for Kelsenberg. Came in the tonight's match, 198 kills, third behind Olivia Swenson and Avery Jesuits. Great swing on the slide again off the block and in front of the libero. Brundage not able to make that play. Jesuits handled by Kyla Klein. Ball in the middle, Dylan too much. Set didn't quite lead Dylan enough. She has to reach behind herself to hit it and misses it long. Chesowitz with the serve, back row Brundage. Wilson across to the middle again. Well, the contact whistle against New Craig and we're tied at four. Too much for Jesuits serve. 5 4 New Prague. Bollinger in. 
place is turning as Brundage goes back to serve. Stella Swenson to Olivia. Brundage got to that ball but couldn't get a pass up to her teammate. You now the kill for Olivia Swenson. Kelsenberg's ball handled by Kyla Klein. Here's Avery Klein. Kill for the lefty. 6-5 New Prague. Really nice swing there from the right side. Yeah, that'll go as an ace. This handle on the serve on the serve receive. New Prague by two. Klein, Jesuits, Stella Swenson to Olivia. Down the line, got it. Big swing down the line. Block becomes irrelevant when Olivia goes up as high as she can touch. Marzetta within one, seven to six. Stella Swenson back to serve. Wilson, oh. Ball back. We got Avery Klein able to get it across. And too tight to the net, but Wilson able to keep it in play. Stella Swenson all the way across to Olivia. Off hands picked up. Wilson across and missed. A bench full of surrender cobras as that ball got called out, and everybody on New Prague put their hands on their heads thinking it was in. Ball the middle, put across, and there's the kill for Bollinger. New Prague back in front. Bollinger having a nice match here. Anderson on the serve. Stella Swenson back, and a kill for Wysetta by Kerr. Good slide swing there from Kurth. Good timing of it too. Waits, waits, chases, beats that ball down the line. Really nice swing. And a really good quarterfinal round match against Edina. Brundage picks up that serve from Olivia Swenson. Here's Avery Klein attacking. Gets the point. 9-8, New Prague. Connolly in and serves. Off of Kurth and the ace. More trouble for serve in serve received for Wyzetta than I've seen in the matches that I've seen them in this year. I 100% agree with you, but I also have seen New Prague play enough to know that that yeah. is their best skill. They're able to pick teams apart. This one off the net and then out. And Andy with his serve jinx continues here in the championship. There will never be a jinx as bad as 2018 when I called Kennedy Orr's serve into the net on match point. Wilson having to adjust to on him a little bit was Turning, but got it out down for a point. They break by two at 11 9. All the front row, Stella Swenson back across. Eva Swenson up off Wilson, and nobody can get there in time. Brundage too late. Point Wyzetta. I'll say it can do a smile as he knew Klein could have gotten to that ball, but waiting for the set from the libero Brundage. That one drop that picked up there. Avery Klein off the hands here. Malakis out of play. 
Point to Craig. Fantastic effort by Wyzetta there. Bodies on the floor. I really thought Nister was going to bring that ball back close enough. We were going to get it back across. Dylan serving her team up by two, and that might have gone out, but it was played by Olivia Swenson, and it's 13 10. New Prague serving very well tonight. Up by three. Stella Swenson goes to Jesuits, gets blocked, and another point. And New Prague leads by four at 14 10. Timeout, Wyzetta. Scott Jackson kind of at a loss right now, not expecting this kind of fight from New Prague, but the New Prague Trojans have battled doubters all season long. They were ranked early on in the season, and a lot of people that were around the metro area just didn't understand the why. And then they don't play in a big conference where they play a lot of great teams. It wasn't until one of their first uh, tournaments that they started really turning some heads. Have won a lot of big matches. Now they sit uh, number four in the last coaches poll before postseason. Wyzetta obviously won. Eastridge at two got beat by Egan, who was eight. Champlin Park losing to Wyzetta. But that New Prague, Lakeville North, Lakeville South, all three of those in the exact same section uh, to get here. We have Maple Grove, Wyzetta, and Champlain Park in the same section. And then some of the other sections get a little bit more spread out. Because, oh my goodness, Eastridge, Egan, Rosemount also in the same section. Rogers beat Egan in the fifth place match in class four earlier today. Anelka beating Stillwater for third place. Here in the championship, Wyzetta up on New Prague, 2-0, but New Prague leading here in set three, trying to extend the night. Wilson to Avery Klein. Picked up back row, tapped from the middle by Kelsenberg. Dylan of swings, and double contact called on New Prague, side out. Point Wyzetta. 14-11, Avery Jesuits back to serve. Ball outside, Kyla Klein had her attack block, swings again, this time goes over the block and too long. Another good block set up there from Swenson, causing some chaos and confusion. As we took a look at Dylan's parents there, locking in, trying to figure out a way to will New Prague into a set three win. Front row across by Avery Klein. Stella Swenson to Olivia Swenson. Another point for Wyzetta. And now they're within one with three points in a row out of the timeout. Wilson backs at Avery Klein. It's a point for New Prague, they're ahead by two at 15 13. Again, 22 wins in their last 23 matches coming into the state tournament after a 5 and 4 start. Brundage, back row, handled by Jesuits. Stella Swenson over by Olivia. Wilson will set to the middle. Bollinger gets blocked here, and Lupre can't react to the ball sent back. Side out point, Wyzetta. Good play at the net there by Wyzetta. Kelsenberg, back row. Handled by Dylan. Brundage, and over by Kyla Klein. Olivia Swenson going cross court. Gets it for a point, we're tied. Take another look at this one. Here we go with the super cuts open late shot again from Olivia Swenson. Almost indefensible. Right side attack from Avery Klein, and it'll go for a point. Kelsenberg putting an arm up to try and make a play. Jesuits had a line on it, but couldn't react. 
And Craig back in front. Led by as many as four here in the set. And Kerf ties it up at 16. Having a nice championship match is Kerf. Take a look at this again. Serve receive, perfect pass, double block. Takes it away from the double block and into the zone one corner. Stell Swenson serving now. Back set Wilson. Bollinger at a run it down. Rundage to the middle. Avery Klein off hands. Point for Dupre. Dupre. <laughs> Student section thinking Scott Jackson's going to call a timeout. I think they got to give up more than one in a row before he does that. 17 16, New Prague. Ball from the middle, Kerf. Good pickup by Avery Klein. Dylan with a big swing and a point. New Prague up by two. Just fearless is Emerson Dillon. Five foot enough banging balls through the well-formed wise out of block. Stella Swenson in the middle to Olivia. Every Klein picked that up. They'll go back to her and another big kill for the senior. New Prague by three. Now the New Prague student section might be getting close to right. That's three in a row for New Prague. Take a look at this big transition dig. Back row, they go. That is such a good swing down the line. Ball set to the middle. Olivia Swenson, a much needed point for Wyzetta. 19-17, Wyzetta's trailing by two. Wilson cross down the line. Missed. Good idea by Emerson Dillon, but missed on the shot. 1918. Scott Jackson with that grin, knowing what his team is capable of. Liv Swenson serving. Wilson back to Avery Klein. Oh, Kurt gets up, times that perfectly, gets the block and knocks it down. We're tied at 19. Kurth one on one here on the All State right side. Delays her block that we talked about earlier in the match. Really well done. Klein to Wilson. Set across. Ball tap there. Wyzetta keeps it alive. Go across to Jesuits. Handled back row. Cross and cross court. Big swing for Dillon for a point. New Prague's at 20. Dylan not afraid to keep swinging here. Junior outside doing some really nice things for New Prague. Twenty nineteen, Prague needing five more to extend this to a fourth set. Eva Swenson front row put across by Jesuits. Wilson will set it across. Dylan another big swing. Mister not going to be able to run it down. Emerson. <laughs> what a great sign. 21 19, New Prague. Too long on the serve from Connolly. Big side out for Wyzetta. Now they're at 20. Why is that a Trojan's heart race? Heart rate hasn't changed much. They've been playing pretty calm here. Mister serving. Oh, it's going to go out. Some missed uh, serve receive there for New Prague, and now we're tied at 21. Four points to a title for Wyzetta. Still four points. New Prague only three points though to win this set. Back into the front row, Klein. That matters. Wilson with the serve. Jesuits up to Stella Swenson. Quick ball. Kelsenberg gets blocked. Avery Jesuits. Great pickup by Brundage. 
Avery Klein gets blocked. Wow, Kelsenberg again getting up with Jesuits. The block, the big swing from Avery Klein. Not many teams can block this. Boy, well, he said it did here. Yeah, Kelsenberg so fast laterally. First step is so good. Really love the way she gets her hands across. Blackus in to serve. Tied at 22. Wilson, Dillon. Oh, got it. Call line for a point, 23-22, New Prague. Five foot eight, Emerson Dillon against six hands, the smallest of which is 6-2, and she scores it. Oh, misses on this serve. We're tied at 23. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. Emerson <laughs> Dillon tries to paint the sideline and misses. 23 all. Jesuits. Brundage, Wilson. Kyla Klein. Missed. No. Touch on the block. Touch on the block by Wyzetta, yes. And now it's set point for New Prague. Scotty J with a timeout in the pocket, not going to call it here. Brendage handled by Jesuits. Stella Swenson across to Olivia. Down for a point. Tied at 24. we go extra points here. I'm nervous, Andy. I, <laughs> I don't have a kid in the match or anything, you know? <laughs> Tied at 24 here. Wilson a little late to get to it, but does. Dylan, good play to the back row. Stella Swenson across to Olivia Brundage with a great pickup. Wilson to Avery Klein goes to the back row, picked up by Jesuits. Go back to Olivia Swenson and down. And now it's match point for Wyzetta. Timeout. New Prague. Wow. Not the match I was expecting. Clean volleyball here in set three. I've been impressed with both sides as we take a look at this last point. Great serve from Kelsenberg. Run down, out of system play. Dylan put pressure on it with the swing. Lackis, I was expecting a dump there. Great defensive effort. This roll shot over the big block of Wyzetta. High outside and the second one off the block and Brundage not able to run under it. Big swing to finish. Brundage does what she can, or excuse me. Yeah, Brundage does what she can to make the play after it's touched off the block and slowed down. Olivia Swenson, part of a fantastic Wyzetta team, ranked number eight in the country. If this is your first time listening to me talk about that, I need you to know how important that is because every other state in the country is allowed to cross state lines to play. They play against each other. You know these things. Wyzetta has only played Minnesota teams, and we're back in front of a championship point. Kelsenberg trying to serve Wyzetta to another title. Wilson to Avery Klein. Back to back to back to back. Four straight state championships for the Wyzetta Trojans. They're 34-0 for the second time in three years. Just a fantastic cap off to a great, perfect season for Wyzetta. Those Trojans, four straight, won all three seasons. There has been a 4A title. Second unbeaten season in three years. They were also unbeaten in that COVID shortened season. Who knows what could have been had that season continued. We're, we're, we're in unchart uncharted territory. I believe there's been one team that's won more than four and that was Armstrong, 80-84, 80, 80 the, the late great Denny Erickson was the coach, and Armstrong won five straight state titles in those years, and now Wyzetta becomes the second team to win at least four. And uh, the, you know, I talked to those players, and you can see that they're prime, they're happy, but they, they said last week, said, this is it, you know, for a lot of these players who have been part of the, you know, the two, the two Swenson twins and Avery Jesuits, all part of that state, all part of all three of these most recent state title teams, and, and this is it. They, they won it. They go out on top as we expected, but this is it for their Wyzetta volleyball careers. Yeah, 
no way you'd want to end it any other way. We talked about those seniors. There's 10 on the squad. Uh, one that doesn't get nearly enough attention. Gabby Fish blew her ACL early in the season, been an emotional leader for this team. I guarantee you they were leaning into her in troublesome points here. There we see Fish. Just fantastic group of athletes, fantastic group of young women. Got our trophy presentation, medal presentation coming up. We'll have post-game sound as well from the event press conference area here. And uh, it wasn't easy, certainly at all. New Prague played a terrific match. Wyzetta certainly didn't play as clean as they usually do, but in the end, they, they got it out and they went in three. Yeah, I think, I think you look at what they did. The, tr the New Prague Trojans really, really played well. Proud of the effort that they put in as we see what this means. We take a look at the three Swensons there. Stella helping out Olivia. And we'll take a look at what they've done in this season. The volleyball family, Eva hitting over 300 this year. Olivia leads the team in kills. Stella, the team leader in assists. Samantha also good. That's such a fun way to put that. That's putting it mildly. Vicky the mom, a Hall of Fame coach. Like this family has meant a lot, not just to Wyzetta, but to Hopkins before that, to the state of Minnesota. We take a look at what this Wyzetta crew has done. You know, and, and there's a lot of talk right now as we look through what the current high school players have done, seeing what they've done. And now we take a look at Samantha. There's a lot of talk right now about the Gophers and what's going on. The last time, the year before a Swenson was coming to the Gophers, they didn't make the tournament. We take a look, Samantha not only got him there, got him to two Final Fours, three or four time All-American, All-State kid at Hopkins, and one of the nicest yeah. girls I've ever right. met. Like she's one of those people that you're just like, is there anything you don't do well? <laughs> just a neat kid. And now we take a look at these three, Stella and Olivia, as they're announcing the all tournament team. Bianca Nister, Stella Swenson, and Olivia Swenson, all three making the team as we take a look at mom, Vicky, proud mom right there. And almost unprecedented, a fourth member from the same high school making the all-tournament team. Katie Kelsenberg joining those three. There's the all-tournament team. A couple of new Prague girls there in the front. Andy and yeah. uh, the four Wysetta. We got an Anoka kid, a Stillwater kid. Two Anoka kids, excuse me. Well, what a good tournament, too, for the, the four Wyzetta girls. Nister had really had a strong season at LaBarro. Kelsenberg, we talked about the, the play that she had. Overshadowed by the Swensons, perhaps, but uh, really played some terrific volleyball here in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, and you look at it now. Now I didn't, I didn't process it. Jesuits put together a heck of a tournament as well, as did Kurth, as did the others. I mean, the fact that there was four is almost unprecedented, but there could have been two or three more as well. They're so good, they're so deep, they're so talented, and uh, really just putting a cap on this season. The only way that makes sense, undefeated. Hadn't dropped a set since losing to Champlin Park in on September 26th. They lost set one there, then came back, won three in a row, and haven't looked back. I don't know that they, the teams have gotten to 20 as often as New Craig has. 46 straight set wins. I don't know. I'm sure that's nobody's ever tracked that if that's a record, but it's it's uh, pretty impressive if, if anybody's ever done it before. Volley nerd time. I was talking you, with you the, gen this. the gentleman behind us, Shakopee, when Ashley Whitman played. Yes. They dropped set one against Chaska and then went undefeated until the state quarterfinals where they dropped one set okay. again, and it was like a 57 set. But still, that's, it's, again, rare air. We're talking about things that you just think about, and, and speaking of rare air, we take a look at Denny Erickson, five straight double-A titles back when that was the big class. There was a two-class system. They won it five times. It just to say it was a dynasty is an understatement. 
people around the state, around the country, knew what Denny was doing here uh, at Armstrong back in the early 80s. Hall of Fame coach, passed away three years ago, but uh, left a great legacy at, at Armstrong. And, and Kathy Neeland, who was their coach when they won state a couple times in the early 2000s, credits him for, like, he really influenced me as a coach and, and led to success she had as a coach as Armstrong won the state championships with uh, Tara Lobdell and that group 20-some uh, years ago. And Scott Jackson, we mentioned earlier this week, named or inducted rather into the Coaches Hall of Fame with his family and uh, well deserved for Scott well over 500 wins and counting and let's see it's one two three four win four seasons of 30 wins or more in the last five and the only one that didn't was the COVID year when they were 13 and 0. And and Scott being again who he is one of the proudest things about this photo is the fact that his daughter Hannah is in it as well Hannah's Minnetonka team in the state tournament this year when they won that was one of the first things he told me was did you hear that Hannah gets to go to the state tournament as well. Good guy Scott Jackson. New Prague just received their uh, runner up medals so get their second place trophy and then my wife's out of Trojans are now getting their medals and trophy. Let's listen in now as these players get their medals. Presented to each chief member of the team. Number four, Maddie Dimler. Number five, Bianca Nister. Number eight, Ashley Hainlin. Number nine, Kayla Naraki. Number 10, Stella Swenson. Number 12, Eva Swenson. Number 13, Olivia Swenson. Number 15, Kate Dimler. Number 16, Louisa Lannon. Number 17, Avery Jesuits. Number 18, Ariana Lateral. Number 19, Olivia Wan. Number 20, Ellie Osowski. Number 21, Maggie Anderson. Number 22, Riley Kurth. Number 23, Chloe Lackus. Number 27, Katie Kelsenberg. And number 37, Gabby Fish. Student manager, Savannah Jung. Student manager, Addison Walker. Assistant coach, Bree Schwartz. And assistant coach, Carly Howard. And the head coach of the Wyzetta High School Trojans, Scott Jackson. And now will the captains of Wyzetta High School, the first place 2023 Minnesota State High School Class 4A Championship, please come forward to receive your trophy. Congratulations to all teams. Please join the Minnesota State High School League in congratulating these athletes and their schools for their outstanding participation in this year's girls' 49th state volleyball tournament. Stella Swenson with the firm grew up on that championship trophy and the, it's a four peach and then the picture there that team photo is one that kids will keep forever right. Absolutely this this group and uh, right after the PA announcer died down student section started the thank you seniors chant which is something that every team does and every school does 
but the 10 seniors that are finishing their YZ volleyball career. One of the things that you talk about when you're talking about legacies is you want to leave something better than you found it. And I think all of these athletes have done that as we take a look at the new Prague team doing the same thing. They had a great senior class with eight seniors in their class as well. Um, just a, a fantastic cap to a fantastic season, a fantastic career. Stella gonna, gonna get pretty emotional here. They all do. Scott Jackson, closing words about what's gonna happen next. But you gotta live in this moment. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta be right here, right now. I just found my picture from Helmick in the 2019 season when they won it. Helmick had a picture taken at the end of the tournament where she's sitting on a ball in the corner of the X with her hands, with her head in her hands, just almost doubled over. And that was the year that COVID hit. So she didn't get a senior prom, a senior everything else. That was her last big senior memory. And just what it means to these kids to represent their school, to represent everything that's gone on through all of it. Because these kids, I mean, you, you see Gabby Fish there. As I'm getting emotional, Gabby Fish, fantastic athlete, fantastic human have her season, have her career cut short like that. And now we get some uh, extra tears as things continue to move forward. Yeah, and we, we've seen so many great players that YZ has had through, uh, through the years. You mentioned uh, Elizabeth Helmick, and that was uh, Sophie Chesowitz on that team, Kate Long, Olivia Johnson, Lily Emlog, that whole group. 2021, we had Katie Revere and Sierra Moore, Emma Gerger, M.E.L., Mel Goldstein, one of my favorite players of all time. If nothing else, that that student chant that would uh, was great every time. And then uh, and then these younger girls who were sophomores then, the Swensons and Jesuits, who were part of that 2021 team as well. Yeah, and then and then you also have the group, the Vogel and and all of those kids. Like there's there's just a legacy being built here. And granted, you know, it doesn't hurt that Scott Jackson bleeds YZ a blue and gold year round. He's so proud of these young women, where they go, what they do next. Very, very happy for what's coming. And at some point we got to start talking about next year. As you see Eva Swenson, is she the heir apparent to set? Is, you know, does Kelsenberg and Kurth and some of those other kids, they're going to have bigger roles. What's that going to look like? YZ isn't going to go away. We talk about Champlin probably being the favorite to come out of that section next year. But YZ isn't just going to go quietly into the night. They're going to come out. My guess would be they're going to be a top five ranked team next year. And uh, that's one of my favorite things. Scott Jackson giving his gold medal to his daughter. So proud of her. And uh, the young girl that she is. And just adorable, adorable kid. Super supportive of dad. Yeah. Pretty that's awesome. awesome. Pretty awesome. We're going to hear from the Waisetta Trojans and their post game. We will take a timeout. We'll come back with that. Actually, before we go, Andy, we got to talk about as we transition here. Look at the last point. Club volleyball tryouts start tomorrow, and you've got you got to be up in I don't know oh dark hour to get to a 7 a.m. tryouts, right? I I got to be in the building at seven. The kids will be in the building at 7:30, including. All of these seniors almost, as we see the, the dog pile that is the best part of high school sports. No matter, no matter where you're at, anytime you can see a dog pile, take full advantage of it. Take a look at the joy of all of those kids. And, uh, you know, tryouts will come tomorrow, and that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and get kids better and better throughout the next club season so that they can really get after it here next year in the state tournament again. Andy, I want to thank you for your work all season. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Nobody better. It's awesome. John, I really appreciate that. The prof professionalism that you guys have, uh, the, the broadcast, Isaac and everybody in the truck. It's just, it is a great pleasure to work with you guys. Thank you so much for having me. And if you have me back again next year, we I'll will. start looking at my schedule when all that right. comes out. We will take a time out. Post game is next. The post game press conference. We'll hear from the Wyzetta Trojans and wrap up our coverage of the 2023 season. Congratulations to Wyzetta. Another state title in the books.
KCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Waitetta wins in three in the state 4A championship, defeating New Prague. Let's go now to the post-game press conference. Uh, Bianca, and then Olivia, and then Stella. Uh, so hats off to New Prague. They played a fantastic match. They were really formidable. Um, Greg had his team playing as well as anyone uh, at the end of the season here. You know, so and uh, Greg's a really great coach, running a really strong program, and. They've had a, a, a really terrific season. I'm really proud of these guys. We kind of faced down that, like everything that comes with that, you know, um, being the clear favorite, undefeated season on the line, um, and just doing it together and not backing down in any moments. You know, facing a little adversity, a little doubt, but not backing down in those moments. Just really proud of them. So. Scott, I want to ask them, as we get to the match, uh, second here, but then after that first set, you guys changed sides. You went over the, the curtain called the girls over to kind of acknowledge the women on the other side. Um, I kind of found a little bit uh, in the middle of the championship match, <laughs> and then you actually took the time out to make sure these girls were acknowledging and recognizing the history of the game. Can you talk to me a little bit about your, your intent on that? Well, and it was spur of the moment. Why, I, how would I know that we were going to have a side change right when it was happening? And I just, I could hear what was going on in the arena. And I was like, um, you know, I'm part of the BOC with the Volleyball Coach Association. I know how hard they worked to make that happen. And I, I thought it was so cool that it was happening as we did that planning as a, a coach association. It's like, well, I have a moment here to make sure my kids understand. Like, this is a human endeavor. I keep saying that about coaching and playing and being on a team. It's a human endeavor. But I, we have that opportunity. I just wanted them to take a moment. And then I've already been told, the message's already been passed to me, that girls, they, those people, when they heard what you did, they were so appreciative that it was a big enough deal to kids now that they stopped what they were doing in the, one of the most critical moments to their life today, and you guys went over there. So that was a big deal to them. And if I ran around you here, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I was just not looking for you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry about that. So it was just, like, it wasn't planned. It's like, hey, look at this. We got an opportunity to do something. Told them what was going on. Get over there and make sure you acknowledge them for a minute. Because how cool is that situation that we can, that we've been doing this 50 years, and we can recognize those people that got us started. So. <coughs> and when you talk about finishing this up the way you guys wanted to, I mean, there was always maybe just a, you know, in the back of your minds all season long, this is how you want to end this season, but you got to go through it and get it all done. Now it's finally over. Can you talk about uh, what you've been able to accomplish? And this team could go down one of the best in state history for what you've accomplished. Can you talk about that? Um, <laughs> why is that a volleyball? It has been an amazing experience for me. Um, even at Hopkins, I'd watch them and I'm like, oh my gosh. They're so good. Like, how can I be like that? How can that be my standard? Um, it, it's just been, I've been so blessed to play for Scott and play for my teammates. Um, they're wonderful, wonderful girls, and they will be my lifelong friends. It's so cool to be a part of this kind of YZ of Bible history. Can you talk a little bit about that frustration? That third step, does this seem like they just would, you just could not bring them away to put them away? Were you ever getting anything like, okay? New Prague is good, but come on, it's time for the to end this right now. Yeah, I think there's a lot of frustration with um, when I don't get a kill, when I don't get a kill, and uh, I, when I don't finish rallies. Uh, but um, eventually, I kind of found that one shot that was golden, and I kept exploiting it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have a lot of girls on this team that um, are new to this team, and we there's 11 of us leaving. There's pretty much three players returning, so I think it's really important to just show those girls like what this moment feels like, and that they can recreate this moment in the coming years. So.
Yeah, honestly, it feels kind of surreal that it's over. Like, it's something that you don't really think about. Like, when you're growing up, you're just, like, always, like, excited for high school season. Like, all the time during club, I'm always thinking about high school. But now the fact that it's actually over, it's, like, it doesn't even feel real. And it's, like, heartbreaking. And, yeah, it's high school volleyball is a really fun part of my life, and I'm going to miss it a lot. Yeah, um, it's always that time of the year that is my favorite. Um, again, it is surreal, like, in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have practice on Monday. Like, I'm going to bring my volleyball stuff to school. We're going to get at it. Um, but it's not going to happen, and uh, it's hard to process because we're kind of all going everywhere across America, um, different schools. <laughs> like really different points. Yeah, literally different points. Um, I don't know. I'm just really proud of what we've done and showing that experience to the underclassmen and the returning players. Um, I'm glad they got to be a part of this team and help us get to this point. But again, it just it doesn't feel like it's over yet. Yeah, um, well, I said that volleyball is always going to be a part of who I am. Um, I got a text from one of our alumni, Milt Goldstein. If you don't, if you don't win this game, then the alumni or the elders are going to whoop your butt. <laughs> like that sounds and, like Mel. Yeah, <laughs> and like we have coaches that played for YZ. Like it's always going to be a part of who I am, and I'm going to text these girls every day of my life. I, these are my best friends, and I'm so grateful to have played with them. And um, again, like I said last time, we're just going to be handing off the torch. And I will be watching from across the country, wherever I'm playing, I will be watching Wise Out of Volleyball, and I'll be cheering them on. I always feel like they did well today to keep it close to the three sets for you guys. What do you feel like their strength was today? Um, their strength was definitely their right side. A uh, Avery's her name? Avery, Avery Klein. Klein. The lefty, she is a beast. In the back row, in the front row, she can do it all. Um, and they're outside. She's a really good passer. Number 13. Emerson. Emerson. Dylan, She's a great passer. Setter and does hats a good off job. to the libero. They, they're just a solid team. If I could share, they, they changed some tempos of their offense that caused our defense to be on the move still. Like our block was having a hard time getting there. So kudos to them for doing something dynamic to change things. And like Dupre, they might be the best serving team oh, we've yeah. seen oh God, yeah. this year. They serve really tough. They put our serve receive under a lot of pressure, and we've really that's been a that's been our anchor is that we can get out of serve. Like it's hard to get on runs on us, but they got a couple of runs on us at different points and, and those type of things. And uh, again, that, I think it speaks to good coaching. They have good culture. They must care about each other a great deal to be able to do those things. And it's just you could see it in their body language, even at the end, like they. You know, they, there was never any finger pointing over there in really bad situations. They were together. They were together. And so, again, kudos to them about some of that stuff. But yeah, change in tempos, t serving tough. A couple of the players that were mentioned there. Yeah, and that libero, she's going to be special. She's a sophomore, she's good already. She's going to be special. So, there's some good things happening over there. So. Yeah, it's, <laughs> oh man, Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely been different, but I remember when I told them I wouldn't be able to play the rest of the season, I was like, guys, I'm not going anywhere. It's not like I like, died. Like, I'm going to be here supporting you, and I feel like I have done a great job of that. Absolutely. Um, and I'm just super proud of them, and um, Eva has just been amazing, and I love watching her play right side. It's such a joy for me. But I'm just proud of them, and it's an interesting view because I just I feel like they don't see it as much, but I just see them improving and doing things better in practice the day before, and the next day, and the next day. So I'm just really proud of them and the people they've grown to become, and I'm really excited to watch them in the future. So I love you guys. We freaking love you so much. Anything else? No. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a quick time out. We'll come back. We'll wrap up our coverage from the XL Energy Center after this time out.
the court being pulled up here on court two here as the volleyball tournament has ended in class 4A. Minnesota Wild have a home game here on Sunday afternoon, so they got to make the quick turnaround and get ready for hockey here in uh, about 18 hours. Court one just finished up, and congratulations to the Marshall Tigers defeating the Deladon Tigers for the 3A title. That will do it for our coverage. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage all season long here for CCX Volleyball, for Andy Gugersberg and all of our crew. We want to congratulate the Wysetta Trojans on another state championship. That's four in a row. They win it in a sweep over New Prague. Good night from St. Paul.